welcome back to another video so this is going to be my first halloween design so last year my first ever halloween set was pink so i'm going to keep it as a thing now my first halloween set this year is going to be pink um so i've pulled out two colors guys a pink and a black i'm going to be using umic um i've pulled out a black gel paint as well and one glitter just a plain black metallic and that's from charlie's nail art i've already buffed the shiny surface off these nails so i'm just going to give them a quick base coat umic base coat cues in the lamp for 30 seconds as well Right, I've decided I need another colour. I was I was initially using just them two. I need a really pale pink as well. So I'm using this 198 and it's just a very, very pale pink. And the other pink is more of um, like a hot pink, but not too hot. <laughs> and then the black. So yeah, I did need another colour. So I'm going to start by getting the base colours down. Right, so I'm using Umic Matte Top Coat. I want these nails to be matte anyway, but I'm going to be painting on them, so I need a matte surface. I'm going to write the word boo going down this pointer finger. So I'm using a teeny weeny little a tiny brush. I've got pink on my palette. So let's go. Right guys, I've gave that a second coat and have you noticed anything's changed? I've changed this black nail, this was black. I've decided I want it pink. So, on this middle nail, I'm gonna do um, a little ghost, a little, yeah, a little ghost. I'm gonna do it in white initially. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it white or do it in this pale pink, I'm not sure. We'll see, so. Here goes. Should we move this up to the middle a little bit?
so that's them top coated so i'm going on to this ring finger now and i just want a stripe across the middle and i'm going to do a little bit of a cobweb underneath it um but yeah i want a stripe quite a thick stripe straight across the middle like this it's so difficult because to draw a straight line i need to be over the top of it but i can't get over the top of it because of the camera so it's very difficult let me tell you <laughs> Right, now I've finished faffing with that, I'm going to sprinkle some of this black metallic glitter from Charlie's Nail Art straight into that wet gel paint. So I've not cured that gel paint, I'm going to just pour this metallic glitter into the wet gel paint. It's not holographic or anything, this glitter, that's why I really like it for things like this. It's just plain black metallic so I'm going to cure that in the lamp. I'm going to give it 60 seconds because it is black. The light might struggle to get through it. So I'm going to give that 60 seconds. Right, so rather than draw the spider, I'm going to put some rhinestone glue on my palette and I'm going to use some teeny weeny little black gems to help me create this spider. So I'm just going to put the gem glue where I want the spider. I'm going to put one gem there. I'm just going to use a medium sized gem and a tiny little gem Right, let's get that cured in the lamp. Ooh. Right guys, I'm gonna get some drips. I'm gonna use this hot pink and I'm gonna do some drips on this black nail. Right, I'm gonna do the drips in white first and then I'll go over them with the pink.
Right, that's my drips done. What I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to put a little pink love art on my ghost and I'm going to put a black bow and I'm going to sprinkle the glitter into the black bow, same as I did with this band. Right guys, I've done a couple of little things off camera. I've top coated over these drips. I've done them in white, I've done them in pink. You really didn't need to see me doing them again in top coat. And I've top coated over this little heart as well. I wanted to keep that glossy. I don't know why I'm using that. So, I'm just gonna put some gems on the top of this now. Um, and that'll be this set finished. Right guys, that's this set finished. What do you think? I love them. I love them. <laughs> I do. Definitely a Aggie Halloween set. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone round this, the whole letters with the black instead of just shading. But I like them. I like them a lot. Let me know what you think, guys. Would you wear them? Are you a pink Halloween kind of girl? Or what? You should be if you're watching my channel. You should be a pink girl. <laughs> so yeah, that's my first Halloween set. Had to be pink, didn't it? <laughs> right guys, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit your notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my uploads. And hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.